Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. This video is a quick tutorial on how to create 3D dimensions like I've done in the practical exercise 5, 12, 19 and 22. So let's have a look on how to do that. First, let's open a document. Click here in this icon to open a document. For this video, we'll use the model created in the practical exercise 22. Select this model and open this document. Okay, and the next thing that we'll do is to create a simple copy of this model in the part workbench. So now change the workbench to the part workbench, select part here. And next, select this body and go to part. And now this option, create a copy. And next, this option here, create a simple copy, click here. And now, as you can see, we have two objects here in the review. What we'll do now is to delete this first body here delete and now we have this part here and the next thing to do is to change the workbench to the draft workbench because we'll create the 3d dimensions in the draft workbench so let's do that let's move to draft workbench select this workbench here as you might have seen when we change the workbench to the draft workbench this grid here appeared this grid refers to the current working plane for our purpose in this video, this has an important function. We can make this grid visible and visible if you want. We just need to click in this icon. And also we can change the orientation of this working plane. To do that, we click here. And from the task panel, we can select top XY. Or we can select front XZ. As you can see, the orientation of this working plane is changing. Okay, and if we click here and select, for example, side YZ, as you can see, we have this. And now if we select align to view, this is what happens. And also we can set the orientation of this working plane by selecting a face of this model. To do that, first we need to select the face. For example, let's select this face here, select this face, and then click here. And as you can see, the orientation of this working plane now you can see change it and now we have the working plane on this face here so now let's hide this grid here clicking this icon and now let's see how to create a linear radio and angular animation in this working plane i mean this face here of this part first let's start by creating a linear dimension for this edge here to do that, we have three ways. We can first select this H and then call the command dimension and place the dimension here. As you can see, we have 50 millimeters for this H here. It means that the length of this H is 50 millimeters. Now let's delete this dimension and also let's see another way to create the linear dimension. First, we can call this command, clicking this icon and then click here in this button select edge and select this edge and place the dimension as you can see it's the same dimension now let's delete and let's see it another way first we call the command and the next thing to do is to use these tools here the draft snap tools with these tools we're able to pick the the end points the midpoints and also the center points of lines using these tools here so for example for this edge here let's pick this endpoint and now this endpoint and place the dimension as you can see we have the same dimension fifth millimeters okay and if you want you can change the style of this dimension to do that what you need to do is to click here okay as you can see in the task panel we can change the line width okay we can change the shape color the text color of the dimensions and also we can change the arrow style the arrow size and we can choose if we want to apply to the select the dimensions okay for example let's console this let's select this dimension select here click here and in this task panel let's change the text color to for example this color here click ok 
and okay only that and let's apply this change to the estimation clicking this button and as you can see the text color changed okay and we have this problem here so okay I scroll up click OK and delete this dimension and now let's create the linear dimension again select this edge and click here in this command and place the dimension here okay and now let's see how to create a radial dimension for this arc here what you need to do is to select this edge and then call this command and now hold the shift k in this way and place the dimension Okay, now if we zoom in, we can see that we have a resolve 25 for this arc here. Okay, now let's get the diameter of this hole. What you need to do is to select this circular edge here and then call this command. Okay, and now click off. And as you can see, we have a diameter of 30 for this hole. Okay, this circular edge. And the next, let's see how to create angular dimension. In this model to do that we'll use this face here so what you need to do now is to change the working plane for this face here okay first let's make the grid visible click here in this icon and as you can see the working plane is here let's change this working plane to this face what you need to do is to select this face select this face and then click here and as you can see now we have the working plane in this face here let's hide this grid click here and now let's see how to create the angular dimension so what you need to do is to call the command we can call the command first click here and then click in this button to select the H click here let's select this H and then click in this button again and select this H okay and now as you can see if you zoom out you can see that we have this angular dimension here okay to easily place this angular dimension we can disable these step tools here just click here this icon and now we can place this no problems okay now if you zoom in you can see that we have 130 degrees for this angular dimension okay as you can see it's very easy to create three dimensions using this dimension tool of the draft or range all that we need is to know how to work with the working plane and the styles and also these command here these tools here the draft snap tools so thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you want to support the content of this channel you can do that just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my qualified page Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.